Dirty Trades here and today we're going to talk about cold starts on your engine and whether you should sit and idle to let your car warm up or if you should just take off down the road and let your car warm up while you're driving. And it seems like most people are on either one side of the spectrum or the other where they want to baby their car and they want to let it warm up naturally while it idles slowly so it doesn't rev up the engine when the engine is cold and the oil is cold. And then there's the other people on the other side of the spectrum like me that just say it's a modern car, it's made to be driven um, so that just get in and drive and take off and you'll be fine, don't worry about it. Now, there is probably a happy medium in between and I'm going to go over why some people think it's good to idle it and why people think it's not good to idle it. So if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments why and I will tell you what I think about your opinion. The cold engine light, if you notice on some cars like Subarus, they have a blue cold engine light. What that does is that just lets you know when the water temperature, the coolant temperature gets up to normal operating temp. And if you just get in and drive, it usually takes like one to two minutes if it's cold out for that to go light to go out. And if you let it idle for a while, just sitting there, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for that light to go out. Again, depending on the temperatures, if it's like 70 or 80 out or 90, it can only take a couple minutes for it to go out at idle. So it just depends. So the first set of people that think you need to let the car warm up until it is all warm while the car is idling, just sitting there not doing anything. The thought behind this is that you don't want to rev up a cold engine and it can cause damage and wear in the engine. And that's a good thought because we don't want to damage our engines. They're expensive parts of the car and they're very difficult to replace. And I'm going to tell you why this is not the correct thing to do for your vehicle. The reason that this is not the correct thing to do with your vehicle and let it idle for a really long time to warm up is because it takes a really long time for your car to warm up at idle speeds. Now, your car is going to idle around 1000 RPM depending on the model. And what happens is when it's idling at a low RPM, it's not creating very much heat in the engine. And so it takes a really long time for the oil and the engine to get up to temperature. Now, that in itself is not necessarily a bad thing. The only thing you have to think about is it's going to be cycling colder oil through the engine for a longer duration. And when your engine is cold and the oil is cold, it's more likely to cause damage. Now, the damage that it's going to cause is probably going to be pretty minimal. It's not like you're going to ruin your car from letting it idle when cold. It's made to do this. And the engine oil, as long as it's rated for your temperatures that you're seeing outside, um, then it's not really a problem. It's going to use a lot more gas because when it's idling, it's not going anywhere. You're just wasting fuel and it takes a really long time for the car to heat up. The one thing, the one reason I see that most people choose to let their car idle and warm up is because they don't want to get into a cold car in the winter. And I totally get that because it can be really cold in some parts of the country, maybe down to like negative 20 degrees some mornings. And if you want to, and if you come out into a car that's at negative 20 degrees, start it up and take off, it's going to take you a little while before you start getting some heat and it's going to be freezing cold. So I totally get that. If you want your car to be warm and toasty, that's fine. Just know you're going to be wasting more fuel and you're going to cause a little bit more wear from having your engine cycle cold oil through it for a longer duration. Now, I'm on the other side, get in and go, and the reason why I'm in that side is because your engine will warm up much faster when you get in and start driving. And when the engine RPMs get up higher, it's burning more fuel, it's creating more combustion in the engine, which creates more heat, and that allows the oil temps and the engine to warm up much quicker. It only takes about two minutes of normal driving for your engine to get up to temperature. And um, the good thing about that is you get heat quick when it does that and your engine isn't idling with cold oil in it for a really long time. Now, modern engines, they're made to be able to do this. You do not need to idle your car to warm it up in the morning. You just don't have to. Even when it's freezing cold, negative 20 degrees, totally fine. You don't need to. I get if you want to, that's your choice to do, whether it's illegal in your city or not. Some places it's illegal to idle your car without driving it. Um, but I get why people do that. I don't think you should do that because again, it's just wasting fuel and it takes your car a really long time to warm up in the winter. I tried it one time and it took my car about 15 minutes for that blue water temp light to go out. And that's the coolant, not necessarily the oil temp as well. So that's something to think about too. So should you do it? I don't think you should idle your car when it's cold. Can you do it? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Either way, it's going to be fine. Um, the happy medium kind of is where you don't rev it out really high before the temperature gets up high enough. I've 
redlined my car from like after letting it drive for like a minute for a long time and I haven't had any issues with it. It seems to run just fine. Um, so again, it, it's your car, do what you think is right, but just know it's not really gonna hurt it either way. And um, it's a modern car, you can get in, you can drive, it's not a problem.